Alright guys, welcome to the first official video of the 2018 hunting season. Uh, right now I am here in Oregon. So you guys can see, if you guys take a look back here, whoever looks at this, you guys already know it's the coastal range of Oregon. So, all loaded up. Ah, it's going to be fun. We're going to head over to where my brother and I, we saw those elk, like, what, two and a half weeks ago? And then tomorrow, all the fun starts. So, this is the beginning of the season. Hopefully you guys stay along with me. It's going to be a fun one. So hopefully we can call in some Roosevelt elk tomorrow. Uh, this is my first time officially hunting Roosevelt elk, so it should be a fun one. So, it's just about half an hour in, and we're just gonna slowly locate our way there because we might get lucky and find a bull or find a herd before we, we even get to our points over there. So, we're very lucky that today is a very cool, chilly day. Otherwise, we'd be sweating and drinking water like a pig. Should be fun though. This is what we waited all year for. All right, well, we made it to the spot that my brother and I were here, were last time when we saw the elk. So last time we saw the elk, it was way over here. But right now, the sun is literally 12 o'clock from us, so it's really hard to see with this glare. But yeah, technically, the mountains over here, that's where we're planning to go. But the road doesn't just go straight like this. You have to loop in and out of these mountains to get over there. So, so we're just... Standing right here, trying to glass, see if we can pick off the elk, see if they're still over there. Alright, well, Chinu thinks he spotted the first elk. So, we'll see. Somewhere over there, but we don't know yet. Uh, it's pretty far though. Where? About like 150 yards. And there's this like brown spot. It looks like an animal though. I think it's like butts like facing us and like this or something. All right, so we just confirmed it. Jinu just saw three elk. We're gonna pull out the spotter. All right, spotting scope at your disposal. All right, so we see the elk over here, and basically last time we didn't we didn't really get good footage because we didn't have something legit to basically record the the elk. Well, guess what, guys? I told you we were gonna get it, and we got it. So this is a phone scope. I'm gonna put my phone on this phone scope and we'll get some footage so we gotta do it quick because we're running out of daylight real fast oh my phone all right so i think the one i have on the screen right now is a cow and a calf this is a little calf right behind the big mama oh there's a bunch on top so it seems like there's a bunch of cows a bunch of cows it's so shaky because my uh, sorry for the shakiness but oh that's a lot of elk all right, so the two on the bottom, that's a cow and a calf. There's a bunch of other elk. Seems like it's just a bunch of cows. So let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the ones that we see right there, that's just a bunch of cows with the uh, calves. All right, so we were gonna leave, but we actually, <laughs> we actually saw a spike. We think it's a spike. I think he was rubbing, rubbing a tree or raking a tree because his head was in the bushes and then we just saw a tree kind of move like this so I think that's a spike oh wait no that's a spike oh 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 no that's a spike look at that yeah that's a spike oh, what about that?
Alright, good morning guys. Today is August 25th. It's the opener for Oregon. Basically, our number one enemy right now is just the wind. Hopefully the wind's right. The wind is good. It's a very foggy evening or morning as well. Can't really see that far, so maybe it'll be a good advantage for us too. Maybe we can stalk in a little close. Uh, we have a couple miles to hike first before we can get there, so basically we'll see if we can relocate the elk this morning. Seems fine. Quick update, opening day, our hunt hasn't even begun, and we are having technical difficulties. Our bow string came off the cams of the bow. We just basically put it back together, we shot, and then our release wouldn't open, so the two calipers would just close like this, even when you press the release, it wouldn't open. So, elk season is off to a great start. There's a lot, there's like 30 of them. Look at the one at the front. The front one's a spike, I think, or it's a bull. Man, I think that car spooked him. Should I buell? Oh, not yet. Oh, dude, look at that. There's a spike. There's two spikes. Well, they're coming down, dude. They're coming down. Why are they running like that? Is there another hunter? Dude, there's a lot of bulls. Look at them. They're looking at us. Yeah, they're looking back at us, but why? Like, did they really somehow hear us? Did they pass over? Yeah, they passed and they went down. Well, there's like two or three left behind up there. Now they're all... Alright, well, we just found a very, very big wallow. There's a bunch of elk sign right here. You can see out into the distance over here. There's like a clear elk trail. They hit this pretty hard. All right, well, finally made it back out. Basically the elk ran over this little thing right here. So we're gonna try and go and find their tracks and see what the elk are up to and where they went. We saw them crest, they were going down and they disappeared. We gotta find them if they're below the road or still on top. It's just a quest of relocating the herd now. Alright guys, so we met up with a couple hunters, talked with them, right down here, it's just like cliff. I let out two locator, locating bugles, we got a response. That is the first Roosevelt bull that I have gotten responded to me. So we're gonna go work around this ridge right here, see if it can connect, cause that is really steep, we can't even go down right there, so. Alright.
earlier we were right here located there's a bull right down this little mini ridge right here responded to us responded to a locating bugle so since we're gonna just head back might as well try to call him one more time You ready? Straight down. If this wasn't so steep, we'd be after that bull right now. See, you could get him up, dude. Dude, he's just right on that little plant right there. He's just right there, dude. Yeah. He's just right here. Somewhere on this little plant right there, but this does no justice. That is straight down. It's so basically a cliff. Alright, so there's a bowl down there and there might be two bowls. We've been kind of bugling, they've been bugling back. Then there's one that he's kind of bugling on his own route, so he might be fired up a little bit. I just don't know if he's gonna come up or not. But we're gonna keep messing around, hopefully he comes up. But yeah, I don't even know what to do. This is like straight down, guys. Like, you can't even see what's going, like, what's gonna, what's your next step. So if you could actually like see where your next step is going, then you know, maybe we might have a chance to get down there, but you can't even see your next step. It could just be all of a sudden a drop off and you're done. So we're going to keep trying. Maybe they'll come up. <coughs> maybe when we went up there. Well, things could get exciting real fast. That's the thing about elk hunting. You could have a drought all day. Today's been awesome, to say the least. This is just icing on the cake. To kill a bull would be the cherry on the cake. There's like a few. Yeah, there's a, they're all on this ridge right here. We just can't get down there. That's our biggest dilemma. <coughs> For some reason, they like your beagle. <laughs> I'm not the prophet. No, he's feeding. Oh, really? Is it to the left? Oh. I think she saw us when we were moving.
that, and if they are doing that, then we can we can always just backtrack and get on top. Well, we were just gonna go back. We started heading back. We got right here, and I saw a shape of a deer move skyline, and then we like rushed back to get back here, and it was a cow, two cows, or a cow and a calf. Gotta switch batteries. All right, guys. So right now it's about 6:15. Uh, yeah, today opening day was a blast. We didn't shoot an elk, but still it was just so awesome to be up here uh, Basically my brother and I were just gonna head back. We have a long hike back and We're just gonna go and get some dinner and hunt again tomorrow. Just want to recap what happened today uh, Yesterday night we hiked up we located a herd of elk it was a we saw a spike that was the only bull we saw this morning we woke up we want to be here first light and basically they were in this little valley and as soon as we turned the corner the herd was all actually already booking it because there was a bunch of other hunters who beat us so those hunters they already had a crack at them they already had a crack at them so they spooked the herd the herd went running away all the way that way uh, eventually one guy one of the hunters he got one so super stoked for him i think he got a three point and then you know we tried to follow the herd went over there we located a bull down and off in this cliff canyon couldn't do anything decided to just go hike around came back there located that same exact mountain we found a potentially three bulls i think it's just a bachelor herd of bulls which means they're more mature bulls considering that all the cows are just with spikes and like small raghorns so right now you know definitely the pre-ruts hasn't even kicked in Big bulls are still together, cows and young bulls are still together. So we did that and then we just started coming back. We were basically just coming back and then we spotted a cow, potentially two cows or a cow and a calf way on the ridge skylining. And then we just lost them and then here we are. Just gonna long hike back, get some dinner, go to bed and then hunt again on day two. And right now it's starting to sprinkle as well. So definitely don't want to get too wet. <laughs> 